The next topic under our discussion is quantum mechanical model of quantum. This quantum mechanical model of quantum was actually explained by it was explained by Alvin Schrodinger. Alvin Schrodinger. According to the Alvin Schrodinger, he is under the impression that when the electron, if you take the nucleus of an atom, this is the energy level and this is electron. This moving electron around the positively charged nucleus when it is under continuous revolution because electron is already a smallest particle of matter which is very small in size that is why he is under the impression that Erwin Schrodinger is under the opinion that for this electron if you pass a radiation if you pass a radiation of maximum energy maximum energy and minimum wavelength if you pass a radiation of if you pass a suitable radiation if you select the suitable radiation visible radiation from the electromagnetic spectrum and if you pass on this microscopic particle fundamental particle electron moving electron then this electron when it is trying to absorb the radiation which has maximum energy and minimum wavelength this electron it disturbs its path it disturbs its path like this in the form of wave nature and uh, there is a change in the property of electron the electron actually has two important properties one is position and momentum position is given by delta x and momentum is given by delta p here Erwin Schrodinger is under the opinion that when you are passing the radiation which has maximum energy and minimum wavelength on the moving electron we cannot simultaneously calculate both the position and the momentum of electron at a time simultaneous calculation is not possible that means the position of the electron or the momentum of electron becomes arbitrary or it is thrown at infinity so because of this difficulty Erwin Schrodinger came to one conclusion he says that the we can only just describe we can only identify the electron cloud density around the positively charged nucleus when you are passing a suitable radiation of maximum wavelength all that we can do for a moving electron is we can just calculate or analyze the maximum electron density around the positively charged nucleus in a given three dimensional space so that is the maximum the maximum probability the maximum probability of finding electron density around around the positively charged around the positively charged nucleus around the positively charged nucleus in three dimensional space in three dimensional space available we call it as orbital this orbital according to Erwin Schrodinger signifies square of the wave function where square of the wave function this symbol is psi psi square psi square gives the electron cloud density around the positively charged nucleus this is the electron cloud density around the positively charged nucleus this is the electron density around the positively charged nucleus which is given by psi square and uh, the wave nature which is developed the wave nature which is attained by the electron because of the electron receiving the radiation of maximum energy this wave nature gives the amplitude function that is wave nature wave nature of electron is given by psi the psi is called the amplitude function of electron so the next topic under our discussion is quantum numbers as we have discussed in the previous topic if you take an atom 
an atom has electron density electron density depends on the orbital and orbitals are made up of electrons electrons housed electrons housed in them so these electrons that means electron of atom is characterized by set of numbers called quantum numbers these quantum numbers are designated by n l and m sometimes you can take even m of s when you say n it is principal quantum number when you say l it is azimuthal quantum number when you say m it is magnetic quantum number quantum number and when you say s it is spin quantum number fine now what i'm going to do here is i'll directly give you one tabular form that is if you take n l m and s m of s or simply yes so here so here if you take n is the principal quantum number n is the principal quantum number principal quantum number is designated by means principal quantum number is uh, proposed by that is niels bohr principal quantum number is designated by niels bohr and azimuthal quantum number is given by arnold summerfield magnetic quantum number proposed by lande proposed by lande and spin quantum number is given by uhlenbeck and goldsmith plan back and go smith what is the significance significance of principal quantum number it gives the size and energy of electron in an energy level so principal quantum number gives the size of the the size of the main energy level and the energy of the electron when you say size it is orbit or the main energy level when you say energy energy is nothing but energy of electron if you go for azimuthal quantum number it gives shape of orbitals when you say shape of orbital there are four types of orbitals that is s orbitals p orbitals d orbitals and f orbitals magnetic quantum number gives the orientation orientation of electron in a given orbital and spin quantum number gives spin of electron spin quantum number gives spin of electron if you go for the principal quantum number principal quantum number gives what are the important relationships what are the important points where you can gather if you go for principal quantum number it gives the maximum number of electrons to be filled up in each energy level maximum number of electrons in each main energy level is given by 2n square and uh, if you take 
and this principal quantum number always occupies the integral values of whole numbers of 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. As the as the as there is increase in the size of the energy level, the principal quantum number value also increases for a given atom. This 1, 2, and 3 and 4 represents the corresponding increase in the size of the shell of an atom. When there is increase in the size of the shell of an atom, there is also subsequent increase in the value of the principal quantum number in the same proportionate ratio that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. That means if the electron is located in the fourth shell, fourth orbit, then the principal quantum number value is 4. If the electron is located in the third shell, then the principal quantum number value is 3 and so on. Actually, there is a comparison, there is a relationship between N, N and L for every given value of N. L can occupy the values of L can occupy values of 0 to n minus 1. L will always occupy L is nothing but azimuthal quantum number. L is azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number always occupy a value starting from 0 to n minus 1. 0 to n minus 1. That means the azimuthal quantum number value cannot cannot exceed the value of principal quantum number however it starts from 0 and ends to n minus 1 that means for example if i am taking n is equal to 1 then n can have if i am taking principal quantum number value 1 then the azimuthal quantum number value is going to become 0 if i take principal quantum number value as 2 then azimuthal quantum number value is going to become 0 comma 1 what are the values there for principal quantum number value? The same set of values should be there for the azimuthal quantum number value and so on. Similarly, if I take n is equal to 3 principal quantum number, then L can have the values of 0, 1 and 2. When L is 0, when uh, L is 0, the orbital is 1s orbital because the orbital is formed with the combination of both principal quantum number and azimuthal quantum number. When principal quantum number value is 1 and azimuthal quantum number value is 0, the orbital is 1s. When principal quantum number value is 2 and azimuthal quantum number value is 0 and 1, then you can take this as 2s, comma 2p orbital are possible. When n is 3, you can take 3s for n is equal to 3, l is equal to 0, 3s orbital for n is equal to 3, l is equal to 0, 3p and for n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 2, 3d orbital and so on. Likewise, if you take the magnetic quantum number, magnetic quantum number for a given value of azimuthal quantum number can occupy a maximum possible values starting from minus L to 0 to plus L. That means a maximum possible values, maximum possible values of M is given by M is equal to 2L plus 1 m is equal to 2l plus 1 is the maximum possible value suppose if i am taking if l is 0 then m is also 0 this 0 represents one value if l is 1 then m can have m m can have three values three values m can have three values and when uh, l is 2 m can have five values five values and so on when l is 2 it is d orbital when l is 1 it is p orbital and when l is 0 it is s orbital and so on that means what we are noticing here is what we are noticing here is that means if you take an orbital you take any orbital any orbital according to the spin quantum number any orbital is given by a rectangular box which we call it as box method and this box contains two electrons one electron in clockwise another electron in anti-clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise spin of electron is given by plus half and anti-clockwise spin is given by minus half here one thing what you have to notice is for given values of magnetic quantum number that is which you can see the formula here m is equal to 
12 plus 1 where L is the azimuthal quantum number and M is the magnetic quantum number. For a given value of azimuthal quantum number, we are getting the set of values for magnetic quantum number. When you when you are taking azimuthal quantum number L is equal to 0, then when you get M is equal to 0, it means that the orbital involved in it is S orbital. S orbital because of uniform electron density in all the possible axis, x axis, y axis and z axis. That is why we say we get a single value for L is equal to 0 and M is equal to 0, we get single value that is for given S orbital. If you go for L is equal to 1 and M is equal to 3 means there are 3 orbitals for a given main energy level here I am going to just show that that is when L is 1, M is 3, this 3 represents that is this 3 represents each orbital is given by a rectangular box 3 values means each value is an orbital if each value is an orbital and each value is an orbital an orbital is given by a rectangular box so i will take here one pz the middle box i will take pz middle box middle orbital i will take it as pz the first box i will take it as px and the last box i am going to take it as py so that means whenever the azimuthal quantum number value is 1 we have 3 orbitals when m is 3 m value is giving the number of orbitals here m is actually giving the maximum possible values of m maximum possible values means this also means orbitals also it is giving the maximum possible orbitals for given value of azimuthal quantum number so for azimuthal quantum number 1 the maximum possible orbitals in terms of magnetic quantum number is given by that is px py and pz and because we have three values these three values we can add it as because l is 1 this azimuthal quantum number 1 should stay in the limit of minus 1 0 2 plus 1 minus 1 when m is minus 1 the orbital is px when m is 0 the value the orbital is pz and when m is plus 1 the orbital is py therefore it has three values so when the azimuthal quantum number value is l is 2 and uh, magnetic quantum number values are 5 it means that i am just showing i am transferring the information to the heading here when l is 2 when l is 2 then uh, m is having magnetic quantum number is having 5 values that means it is having 5 orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 this is dz square dxy dyz dyz and d zx and dx square minus y square so five orbitals are there and they are under the limits of this is minus 1 this is this is minus 2 minus 1 this is 0 this is plus 1 plus 1 and this is plus 2 plus 1 plus plus 1 plus 2 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 they are they are under the limits of minus 2 2 plus 2 including 0 so total we have 5 orbitals that 5 orbitals are under the limits of minus 2 2 plus 2 including 0 so total 5 orbitals are there when the azimuthal quantum number value is 2